Hello, I'm back again. We're going to now talk about advanced variables. So this is our variable tutorial that, just a little review, that basically for a long period of time it reads in the um, value in the e-meter if um, and then it stores the, that value in watts because you see the watts is here in our watts in one, so position number one, and it compares it with a wattage of 0.1 watts and if what we're measuring in the e-meter is greater than 0.1 watts this is true so the motor stops and if it's less than um, 0.1 this is false so it goes down here and moves the motor so the idea is that you're trying to find a place where your solar panel is uh, putting out greater than uh, 0.1 watts or wind turbine okay so now we're gonna um, you know change it up a little bit and we're gonna say, first save this as advanced variable tutorial advanced and we're going to save and we're going to overwrite the file that's there now we want to do two different positions and compare those so first off we're going to get rid of this by hitting delete now we're st again storing um, an e-meter in Watson 1 but we want to um, define some more variables we want to define a watts in 2 which is basically going to be the watts in in position number two. We need to be a number and we are going to now write, we're going to first move to a different position so by making a motor and we can just move to, we can say we'll move 45 degrees and then we're going to take another reading of the e-meter. So remember that's in here, that's e-meter in and again we need a variable here and we want that to be watts in 2 and we are writing this so this is good the problem is is that with the wind especially with the wind turbine the wind blades don't get up to speed um, very quickly so we need to put a weight in here right in here so that way we can wait for the wind turbine to get up to speed or the, or the solar panel to measure the right time. So we're going to just um, change this to five seconds, say. We can make it longer or shorter depending on what we think is good. We're going to wait for five seconds and then we're going to do, do it over here. Okay. So now we have that, that program going. So now what we're going to do is we need to figure out which one of these is higher. So first off, let's take two variables and we're going to read these variables now. Watts in one. Let's get another one. Watts in two. We're going to read both those variables out and we're going to compare them. Okay. So we're going to put Watts in two in A and Watts in one in B. Now, the same thing again, we're going to do a switch here. And again, we're not doing sensor, we're doing value and we're doing logic. So, so, see that switched, and again the logic is going to come from here. Okay, so now we need to figure out what the check mark means and what the X means. The check mark means true. So, what it means is that Watson 2 is less than, because Watson 2 is A, is Watson 2 is less than Watson 1. So that means the second position is putting out less power than the first. So if the second position is putting out less power than the first, we want to go back to the first. So we're going to put a motor in, and we're going to go back the same number of degrees we went forward. So we're going to go back 45 degrees. Okay. Now, if it's the other, if it's the X mark, basically what we want to do is we want to, if it's in the X mark, we want to basically do nothing. We want to stay where we are. We want to stay in um, the second position. So, just to be fun, let's just put a sound in there. And we'll just say good job, because it's going to stay there. And so that, that way, that'll play, and that'll go over and over. And so that's a more advanced version of how to use variables. And you can modify this as you see fit to make the best program for your wind or solar station. Thanks for listening.